What up my beautiful people, your boy Kevin back again. Today we have another smartphone for review. This one is the new one released by AGM and it's called the H5. This is a rugged phone, it's probably one of the strongest rugged phone right now in the market. Like honestly, if you look at this phone and uh, you hold it in your hand, you think you're actually holding concrete or you're holding a brick. Like this thing is impossible to break, like it's unbelievable. What we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing the unboxing of this, we're going to do a camera test on it, we're going to do water tests, uh, I'm going to do all that good stuff that I always usually do. So yeah, let's unbox this. Oh yeah, one more thing. This thing comes with the wireless charging as well too. So it's very, very easy to charge. Let's get in here. We have the AGM H5 rugged phone, plus a wireless charger that comes with the phone. So first, let's open the wireless charger. Pretty good. It's on a bigger side. It's got the logo on the back. You get manual book, SIM key. Let's see what else is in there. You get cables and a charger. Looks pretty good. Look at this thing. I like that big, huge speaker. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. You don't even need a Bluetooth speaker. And the back of this thing looks like it's uh, made of carbon fiber but it's not, it's actually made of plastic, but it's like sandpapery, it's not uh, soft, it's pretty hard. This is for your wireless charger to uh, clamp on. And you got one camera, two, three cameras, and this phone comes with uh, night vision as well too, and you got your 40 MP camera right there. I like the way the camera setup is on this phone, actually it looks really good, and that's your flash right there and you got the casing all around. This thing is thick, it's not thin at all. This is your on and off button and your volume rockers right there. This is uh, where your, uh, uh, what do you call it, your headphone uh, uh, plug goes in. And these uh, bumps that you guys see on the side here, these are uh, for a uh, drop, so if you drop it, uh, so it won't damage the phone, you got two on top as well too. You got your selfie camera right on top. You got a 6.5 inch uh, display. You got another button here, it's orange color. This is customizable. And you got your SIM uh, tray uh, right there. Looks pretty good, it's just very, very heavy. What I like about this, you get a wireless charging. So when you get home, you don't wanna plug it in, all that lazy stuff, you just grab this, ba-bam, just like that. Boom, inside go and do your coffee break, do whatever, come back and pick it back up. That's how easy it is to charge this phone. Or you can do it the old fashioned way, boom, plug it in and charge it. So first, remember when I said you're holding a concrete or a brick, like look how thick this thing is. This thing is like a tank, like they put heavy duty case on this thing if you go on top of a mountain, I'm telling you, you grab this and you throw this down, you're not going to have any problem with this phone. You can probably still use it. And you can throw this into the ocean and uh, pick it up again and you still can talk on this phone. This is like a real rugged phone. Not like some other companies that make rugged phones. You can tell they're not like that strong. This one, you can run a uh, car over this thing. I don't even think it's going to break. First, before we get in deeper, let's check out the specs on this phone because I know this phone comes with really good specs. For chipset, this phone comes with Helio P35. What does that mean? Obviously, it's not that crazy chipset, but you still be able to play uh, gaming on it. you be able to uh, download stuff very smooth on this phone. You should have a very smooth uh, phone to run with. Helio P35, let's see how fast can download anything. Ninety six point twenty nine megabytes. Pretty quick. Let's do a quick gaming test.
phone is running on Android 12 as well too and this phone comes with NFC. You can use it with Google Pay, just go and tap boom boom boom, you can pay with this phone. And for memory, you can get this phone in 4 gigabyte, um, uh, 64 gigabyte, you can get it in 6 gigabyte, uh, 128 gigabyte. And the crazy part of this phone is you get 7,000 milliamp battery. What they say this phone comes with a 6.5 inch uh, display, 720 times 1600 um, uh, pixels. If you look at this phone very, very close around the frame, Did you see that? So if you uh, look at it very close, obviously you're not gonna get a 6.5 inch display. I say maybe around like 6.3 and a half because of that big bezels around it. But watching videos on this phone, the colors are pretty good and uh, the resolution on it is not that bad to watch like Netflix and stuff like that. But the best part of this phone is, guys, is that huge speaker on this phone. Probably is the loudest speaker on any phone in the market so far right now. I don't think anything can beat this phone. What, I, what do I mean by that? You do not need a Bluetooth speaker to hook up to your phone to listen to music. You just put it like this and uh, listen to your music everybody can hear around now we're gonna do the speaker test I'm gonna play a video on YouTube, so if you're watching YouTube and you wanna see how loud this phone can get when you're watching videos. This one, it is called the Oppo Reno uh, 8. It's loud, Plus. yeah. This uh, phone comes in three versions. You can get the Oppo Reno 8, Oppo Reno Pro, and Oppo Reno Pro Plus. Obviously, this is the best one, and this phone is actually flagship. Flagship chipset and amazing 50MP camera. Price tag on this phone, around 650 US and it can go higher and higher when you go. See how loud that was? This thing is that loud. And the good thing about this phone is it is full Google support. It comes with every Google app. If you can pay attention, this is all Google apps right here. Google Play Store, these are the rest of Google apps. You swipe it up and much, much more. And the phone is very smooth. If you want to open something, it's very fast and very quick. It responds so fast. Let's see the Google Assistant on this. Okay, Google, open camera. Okay, get ready. It responds really fast. We're gonna pull this down. These are the rest uh, quick settings on top. We're gonna to go left. And that's your brightness. This phone gets really bright. Uh, the settings menu. And we're gonna go all the way down to systems. We're gonna go languages. This phone should have lots of languages. It's got almost the whole world in here. 
I'm going to go slow so you guys can see them. And the phone comes with face unlock as well too. Let's try it. Not as fast, but it still does the job. One cool thing that I did with this phone, obviously I take my dogs for a walk all the time and there's a river right by my house. So I'm like, let me throw this phone into the river and let the water rush uh, from the river go on and see what happens. I'm gonna leave it for like 10, 15 minutes there, see uh, what's gonna happen. So I left it 10, 15 minutes, I actually forgot about this, this thing and I started walking out, out of the, uh, the river out with my dogs and I'm like, you know what, I think I forgot something. It was not like, it was like, 40 minutes around there. So I'm like, oh my God, I forgot the phone. It was so funny and I run back and I grab the phone and I pulled it, I'm like, okay, this phone is done. It's not gonna work. And I'm telling you guys, I uh, grabbed it, I used it, nothing. I, everything was back to like, you grab an actual phone and using it, that's, nothing happened to this phone. I'm like, okay, the speaker's probably not gonna sound good at all. But the speakers, when I was, I, I put the music on, they sound exactly the same, putting it into the water or taking it out of the water. That, that's what blew my mind. I'm like, that is crazy. I've never seen that with any other rugged phone. This is where I put it into the water. The funny thing is the Google Assistant starts working in the water. <laughs> and 45 minutes later, this phone still in the water. Now let's talk about the camera on this phone. For main camera, you got 48 MP and you have a 20 MP infrared night vision camera and 20 MP micro and a 20 MP for selfie camera and video record max is 1080p 30. Now let's look at some of the pictures I took with this phone. These are the 48 MP uh, pictures that I took. And these pictures I took on with the selfie 20 MP. And this is a video I took 1080p 30. And this video, I took it with a selfie. And this phone. Like, highly, highly recommend this phone. Like, if you're a construction worker or anything like that, carpenter, you can throw this phone from one side of the house to the other side of the house or in the warehouse nothing can happen to this phone. That's a good thing. But if, like, if you're using this phone for like your everyday use, like going outside and stuff like that, for me, it is way too heavy to carry. Like it's way, way too heavy to carry this phone. That's the only thing that I didn't like about this phone is how heavy it is. The rest of it, I think the, the phone works very smooth and uh, performance was really good. And uh, you can actually use this for gaming as well too. If you're bored, you can sit there and play game as well too. And the camera, I think they took okay pictures for a rugged phone, but you guys let me know what you guys think about it.